Hello all, my name is Tyler. And I'm John. And together we are DeLon Rigging Solutions, or DRS for short. All right, uh, let's talk about two half hitches. That's another knot that's a really useful knot and often used in the theater. Honestly, I would not typically use it here tying onto a batten, but I'm gonna do it here right now just because I want to show the structure of the knot and this is an easy way to get a good picture of it and demonstrate it. So I've got the standing part of the rope, tail of the rope, I've wrapped around the load, I'm going to take it around the standing part and put it through itself. There's my half hitch and I'm going to snug it up against the bottom there. And then I'm going to continue to rotate around the standing part of the rope in the same direction and going to put it through again. There's two half hitches. Sometimes we use more than two, but the actual knot name of two half hitches would be this with two half hitches of the rope. And as, again, as I said, this is not really, I wouldn't use this for a bowl line on the pipe. I'd use a, a clove hitch or a bowline, but this is an easy way just to show the structure of the two half hitches. We'll uh, show you in a few minutes uh, or next next piece of this. We'll show you in just a moment a few other applications in, in situations where I would actually use two half hitches. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at here uh, is another application of two half hitches. Now two half hitches is not the only knot that you could use in this circumstance, but it's the knot that I prefer in this circumstance. The circumstance being, uh, let's say that I'm pulling up side tabs for masking. So I've sent somebody up to the grid to, with, and who they've dropped lines to me on the stage. We've tied on a, a pipe and a side tab. They're gonna pull it up and tie it off. And we have to adjust it to a pretty exact height to make the masking touch the floor and be you know, flat and level. So this is a, a means of doing that and a, and a use of two half hitches that uh, I would suggest this method. So I've pulled up the leg, pull it up. The guy on the floor says, okay, it's, it's a foot off the floor. So the, the, the load is a foot higher than it wants to be, which is about where I want to start tying my knot. So I've, I've got the load on. I'm going to walk sideways so I bend the rope. So the rope is breaking over the corner. And I'm going to get down here and put my hand on it to hold it in place. And I'm going to take my rope. I'm going to wrap it around the ribbon. So I've got one wrap there. Now I can hold it really easy with that wrap on it. And I'm going to tell the guy on my ground man, that, okay, I'm ready to trim this. What do I need to do? And my ground man says he need to come in a foot. So I'm going to let it come in real easy until he gives me a stop. And he says, stop. Okay, that's it. He likes that. That's the height he likes it. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and continue another wrap. And now I'm going to tie it with two half hitches. So I've, I've got my tail of my rope. I'm wrapping it around the standing end of the rope. I'm pulling it through. I'm going to take that half hitch and snug it up against there. Nice and tight. Because I don't want that to move because I've already got it at the height that I want it. So I've, I'm secured. I've got one half hitch on it. I'm going to tell him to check the height again. Does he still like it? He still likes it. So now I'm going to tie another half hitch. I'm going to go around the standing part of the rope, back through the loop. There's, there's my half hitch. I'm going to snug it up nice and tight. All right. Uh, that's two half hitches, and that should be good. I might throw another one on it just for good measure. and dress my tail so it's somewhere where it's not going to hurt anything and call it good. So we could have done a clove hitch here, but I prefer the 
the wraps to help for adjustment and then two half hitches. If we used a clove hitch, then with a load on it, it becomes difficult sometimes to untie those that clove hitch when it's got a load on it. This works much better in my opinion. Please remember that DeLon Rigging Solutions one-shot train videos are meant as general overviews. Every system is different. Every venue has different procedures. All statements made make certain assumptions about systems and venue similarities. Nothing can replace on-site training with a qualified individual. If ever you have a question or concern about rigging, do not hesitate to reach out to us or another qualified vendor in your area.